We had a really cool thing happen and I want to share it with you guys. Look at this, little baby corn snakes, look at them all. Oh no, I'm, I'm in trouble. Kate, I need help. Oh God. Oh jeez Louise. Just ah, right back. I'm told you. Keep those things. Ah. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here, and man, whenever I come back from a trip, there's always some fun stuff waiting for me in the incubator. Of course, we've got some beautiful chariots and red foots, and look at how light this one is. This is incredible, gorgeous, light red foots. Really brilliant colors on these red foots. And of course, we got some sulcatas that have hatched out. But what's really cool is these two chariots, guys. These are actually twins. sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Kyle Preeby. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Oh my gosh, look at this. They were actually connected and what I did was, um, you guys will see in this video, check it out. So what I had to do is I had to tie some floss around each part of their umbilicus or their yolk sac, which is not fully absorbed at the moment. These guys have been in the incubator for a while. I was out of town, so um, I don't think my buddy Roberto realized that these were actually twins. So these guys were stuck together by their yolk sac, and I didn't want to just tear them apart. It was already starting to dehydrate and dry up, and they're both using that, and that's why they're, they're a little bit smaller than the other hatchlings, you can kind of see. The other hatchlings are a little bit bigger, and these guys are smaller because they were both in one egg, and they were both using the same yolk, which means they were getting the same nutrients so they had to divide it amongst themselves so really cool they're a little bit smaller but i tied the um floss around each of their um yolks like a tourniquet and then i just snipped it with a pair of scissors and now these guys have been separated and we'll just leave those uh pieces of uh, floss on them. We're going to put them back in the incubator so they can finish absorbing because they're not quite ready to go into the nursery as are these guys. Um, so we're going to let them continue to soak and we're going to put the rest of these tortoises in here with all these beauties here. They all hatched out while I was gone. We've got a bunch of sulcatas. We've got some beautiful little uh, red foots. Look at this guys. Look at how light these ones are. Is that incredible? I just get some really beautiful, vibrant red foots. The crazy legs, that's what they are. They're just incredible, gorgeous, light red foots. See how light they are? When you compare them to some of the others, they're a bit darker, you see that? This guy's got some interesting scoots on his vertebrals there. We've even got some cherry heads. We've got more sulcatas. Just always fun to come hang out uh, after I've been away because I'm always getting hatchlings. Look at these cute little guys. They're awesome, man. So what I like to do is after they've been in the incubator, their yolk, you see, gets absorbed and we just put them in here really nice and light. Look at that. Look at how light. Beautiful. I would say these are screamers, man. Just incredibly light, gorgeous red foots there. And here's a, a normal colored red foot and beautiful light sulcatas as well. So we're having fun. All right, so these little guys, like I said, are gonna go back into the incubator because there's something else I wanna show you in the incubator. It's not just tortoises. No, man, we had a really cool thing happen and I wanna share it with you guys. So a while back, good old Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, which uh, I am a volunteer and ambassador of the facility there. Um, they called me up and said, hey, do you want, oh, hold on one second. Kate's watching one of her programs. There it is. Ah, uh, there's Kate hanging out, the lovely wife. We're all back from our vacation. I'm just showing everyone what we got in the incubator. It's pretty exciting. Lots of good stuff, people. So exciting. So we're gonna shut this and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet. Um, but I wanna show you what we got. Of course, I'm gonna put these two back in first. All right, before we get to our next exciting uh, reveal on this video, uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna put these guys right in here and they'll continue to absorb the yolk and they'll be nice and uh, kept moist and whatnot. Okay, so here we go. So anyway, as I was saying, Bush Wildlife uh, called me up and said, hey, Kenan, um, would you want to incubate these snake eggs we have? Um, because we don't have an incubator uh, for snakes or reptiles. So would you mind doing it? And I said, sure, do you know what kind they are? And they said, yeah, it's one of our corn snakes laid eggs. Now, the funny thing is, 
is that corn snake was het for albino. So these are, or that corn snake was actually um, in with an albino. Um, so these are het for albino, but I don't care. Look at this. Look at how many little noodles we have here. Little baby corn snakes, look at them all. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Not all of them have hatched yet. Oh gosh, oh gosh, don't, don't go freaking out, guys. Oh my God, so what am I gonna do with these snakes? What do you think I'm gonna do, folks? We're gonna release these guys in and around the camp. We're gonna just inoculate the camp with a bunch of baby corn snakes. That one gave me a little nip. Oh gosh, but I'm not quite ready for these guys to actually go out. So what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, in this video, it's gonna be uh, the same video for you, but tomorrow for me, we're gonna go ahead. Oh brother, these guys are pretty quick. Oh no, I'm, I'm in trouble. Kate, I need help. Help me. Kate, come here. Yeah, come help me. No, please, I need your help. I really need you. Hun, I wouldn't, I'm dead serious. Please come here. She won't come here and help me. I have to get all these, look, he's biting me. Oh my God, these snakes, they're gonna get away, hon. I need you to hold this camera. Okay, I'll do the camera. You do the camera. Don't step on the little baby. Oh, Jesus. Oh God, oh geez Louise. Look at them, they're slithering everywhere, these little guys. Get up close so people can see. It's not easy filming. Oh my gosh. So what I was telling them, hon, is uh, you think I'm crazy, but what I'm gonna be doing with these little guys, look, they're biting me. They think I'm trying to hurt them. Uh, but what I'm gonna do with these little babies, is we're gonna release them in and around the camp. Isn't that awesome, hon? Yeah, great. I'm, I'm loving that idea. Yeah, she's not too thrilled about that, <laughs> but these are really good snakes to have around because they eat rodents and toads and all kinds of little vermin. Can um, I ask something? Yeah, please do. When they bite you, does it hurt? Not even in the least. Okay. It's just like nothing. Um, they're so tiny. See, there's, there's, a, there's one that's not quite hatched. Um, this one's hatched, that one's hatched. Look at these, these three have slit. Um, they've slit, so there's gonna be more in there coming out. So we've got a bunch more, but tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and release these guys. Uh, I think it'll be fun. And uh, maybe I'll just walk around, kind of like Johnny Appleseed. I'm gonna be Ken and Snakeseed, man. We're just gonna go ahead and put these snakes all over the camp, and they're gonna be thrilled. How many are there now? I don't even know. One. I don't even know, bro. Here, wait, what if I do this? Let's count them. We got one. We'll get the ones ready for release into another container. Two. Three! I feel like they count. Oh, oh now oh, they're boy. leaving. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's three. Oh, God. This I, isn't going to work. Three. No, it's going to work. It's going to work just It's fine. not going to work. Three. Four. Come on, guys. Four. Um, you got to go a little quicker, I think. Five. Five. Oh, God. Five. Okay. Six. Six, yeah. Yeah, keep it going, babe. Six. Uh, uh, six. Honey, this seven. Time. I got seven in there. Seven. Oh god, this is not working, bug. Seven. We got seven so far. Did you just put one in? Yeah. A new one? No, we're uh, we're at seven. seven. I know we're at seven. Okay, seven. Yeah, hold on. This is this is a lot of work, these little wiggles. These are not like tortoises, let me tell you. I need a lid. Where's my lids? Where have all my lids gone? Yeah. Oh the lid. Hold on. Uh we got seven, seven snakes. Hun. What? There's seven. Just I know. I need the lid. Focus. Where are the kids? Seven. Sophia. Sophia. Come here, quick. Oh, I'm going to touch one. Go I for it. No, touch I don't it. want to. Touch it. You can do it. Touch it. Oh, you did it. it. Oh, you did it. That's all. Sophia. Ah. Can you go get a lid for this in the Sophia. garage quick? Okay. Thanks, hon. Look at your daughter. No problem with that little one. Come here, Leo. You want to hold the baby snake? No. Come on, man. They're kind of cute, Leo. I They're, touched one. Mommy touched one. Do they bite? Uh, yeah, but you can't even feel it. No. They won't bite. Look here. No, no. Oh, oh God. So we're still at seven, folks. We're at seven snakes. Oh my God, where's my Sophia? We're at seven snakes. Oh, brother. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I get nervous. Good, huh? <laughs> seven. Oh God, so these little corn snakes are awesome little I'm touching native. You, you got it. Oh God, I got you it. Got it. I got it. All right, come here, so seven. thanks. All right, so, oh, that one bit me. See, it's biting me. Okay, seven. seven. So, you gotta help us keep him in here. Oh no, come on, no, watch this guy. I'm not gonna oh, over it. there. Uh, what I'm gonna do, oh my God. So, this is not easy. We need a better tub. Okay, okay. Hold on. that guy. Hold on. Okay, seven. Seven. Whew. Okay. All right. Oh, here's, here's eight. Here's eight. They're in the dirt or in the sun. Ah, oh, they're ah! coming out, they're coming out. Here's eight. Seven, He's good. they're all over there. So, get these. They won't bite you. They don't hurt. Wait, well, you said one of them bit you. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt. It, he's Did I say eight? We're at eight, right? We're at eight, yeah. Watch this guy's head. 
All right, we got No, I picked them up from the All right, back. Eight. They do feel cool though. They do. All right, here's nine. 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 Okay, this there's still a snake in here. So there's one gonna oh, go. Oh look, in look, here's ten. It's ten. ten. So cool. Look, there's all snakes in these eggs still. So how many eggs are there's four there? There's five, more there's six, there's more eggs in there. So there's a snake in there. There's a snake in there. Hey, you back. Get back. Snake in here. I think there's one in there, no? Yeah, there might be another one in here, I'm sure. Oh, there's another one in here. There's a ah. snake in here. Get it, babe. So. Just watch by the face. What did we have? Ten? Um, we had ten, right? I think in there, I think we have eight. Oh, they feel so cool. Do we have ten? Cool. I think we have ten. Oh, I lost count. All right, so there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, flip. Oh, there's no. There's eleven. There's oh, eleven flip. snakes yet to have. Did you wow. say flip? Oh, she flip. Flip. Oh, oh, flip. Oh, flipping a. Ah, oh, flipped out. Okay, good. Well, oh, sorry, Ed. Oh, gosh. This is just nuts. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what. So. Why don't we go release these guys? What do you think? No. What do you mean, no? We're going to keep the other she ones. She wants to keep them. No, let's put them, let's put them in the wild. They, yeah, I mean, gonna... listen, I don't like the idea, but if you tell me they're going to eat other oh, critters, yeah, they eat other so critters. So that's right? fine by law. These guys eat other critters, and they're good at eating other you critters. Still have, like, all of those to have. I'm them. not smushing Watch them. Watch his head. Come on. Here you go. See how oh, cool. Oh, for oh man. Right so, go get canaries. Me. So, do me. Oh, you guys stay here and get. No, keep come these on. Snakes. You see? stay there and keep those guys. Ah, I'm touching keep it. Keep those things. Ah, ah, I'm touching it. Ah, I'm touching it. They feel weird. They're slimy. Did you touch one? Yeah. Oh, good boy. I just, ah, I just touched one. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, slimy. Watch That's by it. his head. Watch by his head. Yeah. Can you say they don't hurt? I know, they don't, they don't, but... Okay! okay. They won't bite you? No. Ah, watch out! Ah! Ah! Watch out! Ah! My, you're doing so good. I know, Look. I know, yeah, but I'm really, go. like, freaking out yeah. on the All right, inside. guys, put them in this. They, they won't be able to crawl out Oh, gosh, out. all right. We're finally using our heads here. Holy smokes. Watch, watch, honey. Watch nice out. and easy, nice and easy. Good girl, so... Come it's on, like, Leo! It's like that Leo hand. did, he That's touched a couple. Did he grab one? Good yeah. boy. Yeah, put one in there. Go, get another one, son. All right. So She's what we'll do is we're gonna let these I little just boogers go. In. They don't really oh, like worms. Oh. Yeah, they, they, like, they, they do feel a little wormy. Yeah, get another one. Look at this guy wrapped around me. Look at that, it's so cool, right? Yeah. Isn't it amazing to have baby snakes? But I'll tell you what, you think they're not gonna come out of this box? I mean, it's gonna yeah, take them longer. It's gonna take them longer. But look at this guy, he's are. almost I know, they're so cute. So we got 11 here. And I'm gonna put these 11. guys back in their house. Wait, where did we get eleven? No, eleven in that are still due to hatch. Oh. But since we've got those guys that are ready, let's just go let those guys out, man. <laughs> this will be fun. It's like such just such like times, fun science project here at the camp. Come on, let's go. Well, you have some. I have to. Finish you have to it. finish the chili. All right, you kids want to help me? Yeah. Yeah. I let's like go. This guy. You like that guy? All right. All right, it's gonna storm, so this is gonna be perfect. These guys will have nice fresh water. It's gonna be great. It's a little dark right now, sorry. Um, they're gonna know instinctively what they can eat, which is gonna be better for us, because I don't want to deal with uh, feeding baby corn snakes. Oh, look. Oh, man. We're gonna get the tail, the tail, the fringes of this uh, little storm that's down in the Caribbean. Uh, yeah, let's do it, man. Go ahead, Soph. Let's put them near your pond. We'll just put them all out in the front here. Oh, you got two. Careful. You got two right there, bug. Go ahead, let two out here. Put them in the grass. You need them to be able to hide. Whoa. That's not grass. That's not grass. Hold on. Come right on. Here. Right over here. Yeah. Let them slither on into there. There they go. There they go. Oh, say goodbye, guys. Get in there. Look, this guy just wants to stay on me. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. They go hide, so cool. little boogers. So these guys are going to crawl into this bush and they're gonna hide and that's what they're wanting to do that's so their instinct. that's right that's their instinct okay. so you see them hold on so one at a time let's see hold on i want to show everyone what these little guys are doing they just hatched out <laughs> there's a tortoise there's a tortoise right, right here radiated tortoise. All over look here. at them go look at this they are instinctively see that guy's crawling. climbing up the tree yeah they're instinctively Don't crawling me, up into the grass they, this is what corn snakes do. I'll find corn snakes way high in palm trees when I'm trimming my palm trees. So this is a really cool habitat for them. 
So they're gonna eat little tiny bugs and invertebrates and little fish at this point. So I'm really excited that they're able to do this. Look at that, they're going when right When they're bigger, they'll eat like rodents, like rats, right? Yeah, yeah, they'll eat rats, and what else? Uh, mice maybe? Yeah, they'll eat mice, and what else? If they're climbing the trees, what, what makes its nest in the trees? Iguanas? No. Coconuts? What lives in the trees and flies? Birds. Yeah, it's birds. They'll eat bird eggs and bird hatchlings. But here they are, look at that. Really going for it. So I think cool. The tortoises are like, what's in this box? Oh yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Snakes. So let's go over to your pond and let some in that grass. This is fun, guys. Hi tortoises. Are we having fun or what? Yeah. Oh them. my god. Look at how cool Soap's pond is, man. This is a turtle pond. It is a turtle pond. Boy, yeah. that wind really picked up, didn't it? Yeah. Holy smokes. I hope we don't yeah. get a bad storm. How many storm. should I grab? Oh, I don't know. Whatever you want. Oh, there's thunder. Are you nervous of the thunder? No. Good girl. Look what what makes thunder? Um, I don't know. Lightning. Lightning heats up the air and then it causes thunder. Look, anyway, now you know that. Earth science is so fun. Okay, anyway. One. Let's see it. The bushes Go there. so. Yeah, so this is so cool. We're gonna have a bunch of little corn snakes. Really? We're keeping. Oh, they look so. Look at how they all decide. This is amazing, guys. I thought I would think that they would go down into the ground level, but they all seem to go up into the grass. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, you're doing good, Sophia. Go let some in that grass. We'll just let them all loose out here by the aquascape ecosystem. We got the electric fence up. Look at this. Look at this. They all want to go up. None of them go in the ground. So what does that tell you guys? That is babies. These guys want to go, go up high, in the tree. Yes. So. Why do you think they want to go high? So they don't get eaten by any predator once they are born. <laughs> right. Good girl, yeah. Look at this. This is really cool behavior we're seeing. Wow. You're going to like it here, I promise. And if I see you when I come out here one of these days, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh my god. He gosh. likes me. He does like you. Like, I think these snakes like love me because they think that, like... Uh -huh. I'm like their mom or something. You might be their mom. I just love how these snakes are going way up oh, into the grasses. It's raining, it's raining a little what bit, yeah. This? Wait, I want to grab two out of here. This one and this one. I love this. Guys, how cool is this to be able to let a native species go that probably wouldn't have lived? You know, we incubated the eggs one? and we got it. Yeah, what's going on? And then look at this one. It's a like pattern. On there. They have really nice pattern. Hey, let's go to the banana plants. Let's let one up high in the banana leaves. Let's do that. You get over there, let one up in those dead leaves and stuff. I think they'll hide nice in there. Look at this. That's great. Look how so, pretty they are. They are very pretty. And this is the best thing we can do for them. Like, um, let them go in the world. And we have go. still more eggs in the incubator. How amazing. How many? 11? Oh yeah, we have 11 in the incubator. What do we got left? We got uh, one, three. Yeah, three. Three left. Grab some. I'm gonna oh, release four. one. Oh, we got four left. Awesome. I'm gonna let this little guy go. Look how he wraps around my finger. I know. Oh man. I'll be wrapped around your finger. Should I let Please. Him go what? Yeah, go ahead. Let him go in the ferns. I'm gonna let this guy go up in here. This. Look at that. Later, Gator. Oh, I love it. Woo! How fun. He doesn't want to leave you. He, he only left me when I... Oh, look at him. What's he doing? In between the ferns. Let me see. Like this. See? see? Look at how they use their body. Where? Oh, yeah. Look at... See how he's going in between them? He's in between the ferns. Oh, yes, yes, he's making it. Oh, yeah. We got two more to do, right? I'll do one and you do one. Okay, sounds good, Angel. Let's do it. Uh, I'll do this guy. Oh, look how pretty they are. Look how pretty. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go all the way over into that, into that palmetto thicket. Do you want to go there? Uh, sure. Just watch the electric fence. It's on. You got to step over it. Look at how cool they wrap around. I know. That's really awesome. Like they find anything, like anything, and they will climb up here. These guys are semi-arboreal. Do you know what semi, do you know what arboreal means? No. It means they live in trees. So anything high, right. they think it's a tree. Correct. Oh boy, it's getting real wet. Are oh, you going to let it go right up on that tree? Can it climb that tree? If it can climb the other trees. 
Oh my gosh. Benny, oh, it's hiding. Look. Look at that, Soph. Good job, honey. It's raining really hard right now. Wow. It's freezing. It's freezing rain. Look at this guy go. That is awesome. Where are you going to put the other one? I don't know. I'm all excited. Where are you going? You're not, bro you're not like. No, I'm just going. Come on, I'll just, go. yo, so chillax. Will you just chillax? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. I'm happy for you. Look at that, guys. See how easily they can get up the uh, bark of this pine tree? Okay, you better hurry. All uh, right, we better hurry because this storm's a blowing. Yeah, it's because of the hurricane. Yeah, there's a hurricane out there. What's wrong with us? What are we doing out here playing with snakes in the like tropical storm? I love snakes. All right, I love snakes too. All right. Um, oh, oh ooh, I got an idea, so I got an idea. Let's let this little booger up way up into this palmetto right here. You guys were born. It's free. You were born in a hurricane. Nice. All right, everyone. There you go. We released. I forgot how many. 10, 11. 11. Who cares? We released a whole bunch of corn snakes today. And uh, I just want to say. Rain. And it's raining. And it's a tropical storm. Uh, Elsie, Elisa, what's its name? Oh, hey, where are you going? What? Where are you going? Come on, man. You got to sign off with me. Just kidding. I'll tell you. Oh, wait. Where'd the snake go? There it is. Look at that little guy. So we've done a good thing thanks to Bush Wildlife. If you guys want to help wildlife down here in Florida, go to bushwildlife.org and you can check out what they're doing. That's bushwildlife.org and you can become somebody that helps wildlife. They accept volunteers and donations. So, uh, hey, they do good stuff, man. So help them out. All right, everyone, thanks. Hold on, let me wipe this off. Thank you so much for all of your support here on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. What did you guys think of what we did here with these animals? Are you guys as stoked as we are? Let me know. I so, say goodbye to everyone. Bye. All right, we're out of here. So long. Oh boy, it is raining.